this year's fast-paced race started off a little foggy, but the 2021 race had great attendance and everyone had a great time. And the fast-paced race is about the awareness of prostate cancer for men. This year's special guest is Olympian Frank Shorter. Shorter was on hand to meet and greet, along with giving a presentation about running and about his accomplishments, and that took place Thursday before the race. Uh, I think the first mile too, out a little too fast. Kind of dying at the end, but fastest 5k I ran since high school. So, can't complain. Tell us how that was. It hurt. Oh. <laughs> hurt a lot. It's been a long time. It's a good race though. How was the uh, course? Nice. Yeah, it's definitely fast. First mile is about, I mean, it's mostly downhill, then it settles a little bit, but it's a good one. Is it your first uh, 5K win? or? No, <laughs> but it's the first I've done in a while, so <laughs> happy to be here. Oh my god, <laughs> the start is a, is a huge slope and I cannot keep up with the, uh, the 5 kers because you know we have the same time and then my, my pace has to be better at the 5k. I'm getting older, I'm 47 so uh, I need time to, uh, to warm up, right? So uh, it was, it's a great race, a lot of security PR. around it and uh, I beat my, uh, I, I got my PR today so I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very happy. Thanks. Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> I just can't believe you raised that. <laughs> we were pacing each other the whole way, but I could not pass her. <laughs> it was so fun. That was fun. I kept looking back. I know. Really fun. Tell us a little bit about the uh, course a little bit. Um, the course is beautiful, it's easy, mostly downhill. If you just remember, mile three to pace yourself up that hill, you got it. Yeah, lots of hills, but yeah. the down makes the up worth it. <laughs> is it. Did you know you were going to be the first girl across the... Am I the first girl? Yeah. <laughs> Alright! That's nice. I didn't plan for that today, but I'll take it. <laughs> Just a second. Years ago, 
I, w I was here, we were trying to figure out exactly how many because at a certain point you, you lose track, but I think it was about nine years. And, and I remember everything about it. I remember the, you know, the fairgrounds, I remember how it started coming back and finish. And uh, so it was really fun to come back. And for me, um, I really did not do much over the last year and a half of what was going on with COVID. In fact, this is the second time I've been anywhere in the last year and a half. And I think one of the reasons um, I, I did become involved with the fast pace race is that, um, you know, cancer affects everyone. And it's not very well known that I'm included in that, in that group. But it was many years ago. It was 1995, and I uh, was able to um, recover from that. But the cancer that I saw many of my, my fellow runners going through was prostate cancer. One, in fact, was Bill Rogers, uh, who in the 1970s was my major competition. He or I were ranked number one in the world in the marathon, almost for the entire decade. So Bill, Bill came down with prostate cancer and fortunately survived. But during that time, we kind of, as rivals, actually got to be a little closer than we were because we'd had that prior experience. So that's, that's, that's really, you know, why. And then the other reason is I always like more than one reason to come back to an event. And it was I, one, had such a good time here the last time, and the other thing is the connection with Atlanta. You know, the running history. Uh, I've been here so many times over the years. I won the Peachtree Race. Um, and I um, know a guy named Jeff Galloway, who is one of the you know, icons in this area. So for me, it was just fun to kind of come back and, and, and sort of have that be one of the steps back into the process for me, now that I hope we're emerging slowly but maybe emerging from COVID. And what do you think about the, the younger generation in, in running? Are they as involved as you were when you were their age? You know, it's hard, it, it's hard to know. I think they're there. I think they, they really do um, love it and enjoy it. And, um, you know, we can, we can only find out as it becomes easier and easier, you know, for, for um, uh, young people young runners to get back into these programs, but the, the socialization process of it is so, it makes you realize how important it was uh, when, when we were going through the same, you know, process. But the other thing is, you know, in, in the running sports, like cross country and track and field and everything, there's so much travel involved. There's so much going other places frequently because these events, it's not once a week. You know, it can be sometimes two times a week. And, and so getting people to really understand that, um, yeah, you can do it, but everybody has to, you know, do it carefully. And, and if you um, give me a, a moment to comment personally, to not take it personally and to not make it another issue. You know, let, let's just try to make it so that these kids can get as many places as possible safely to do what they want to do.